I listen. So I say to Mike, I don't know. Casually. We're about the same. We're about, yeah, casually. We're about the same size. He goes, Audie, I'm getting you a jacket. Mm -hmm. Now, most people, that's that's not real. Well, then it only took a month of badgering after he <laughs> well, said that. I, I didn't really. For I, the jacket to arrive. I don't like. You're you know, bringing up the negative. He, he had to pay <laughs> off the twins' watches first. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I he had to got, pay off the twins. David, your mom. I, I just got done paying a house in Cartier. Uh oh. Let the silence <laughs> let the silence wash over the situation. <laughs> the best thing you can do, you know how you make a comedian better? Here's how you make a comedian better. When they bomb with a joke, don't fake laugh to help them. All right. Don't fake a No, you're right. That's the best way to Mike, please. <laughs> let in fact, let the the insane yeah. silence, the deafening silence. Be their Let teacher. it wash over the studio and them in a in, in a jacket of failure, mm -hmm. and and uh, and then that forces them to edit themselves. It forces them to make sure something is up to snuff before it comes out of their disgusting mouth. I'd rather be heckled. I'd rather be heckled. That's an excellent. Silence. That's an excellent plan, except it never works for Gino Bisconti. I don't know why. Oh, oh. Gino catching it. Not I'm even here. Here. Not even here catching it. You know, he's aggravating some people. Uh, but so, so yeah, so next time, uh, Mike, of course, said the House of Cartier. When there, everyone knows it's Cartier. Okay, sorry. The uh, joke uh, being well, Cartier. Be, okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm the sorry. Of, uh, damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to work on what it. What about the house of Movado? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Say it again. The house of Movado. I think I said it right. I'm, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Mike, please. <laughs> I'm trying to teach you a comedy lesson. I want that you have to let the insane. Just mute me. Yeah, the insane. Just mute me. Indifference. The indifference. Is You're what, teaching so much. You're not even charging them a hundred dollars an hour. This exactly. Right? This is my comedy school. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mute myself. <laughs> well, As we try to teach you. All right. Okay. Dan Bisconti, You're right about Bisconti. He is like a, a crow boss sometimes. You know. I love this. <laughs> Listen to that. Is there a more, is there a louder sound? No. Is there in a way a louder sound no. than deafening silence? Wow, and and, and if, so you, if you, if you, it's so instructional. Yes, it is. And if, <laughs> and if you that. hear that as a comedian, that deafening, <laughs> as if the entire audience yeah. were in fact an oil painting. Mm -hmm. I heard it out. Now, uh, is there a little speech you want to give before you give me the jacket? Sure. Uh, first of all, I love Mr. Audie Lang, John. I love Shane, Dan, James, uh, Eric. If you um, love us, everybody. why don't we have jackets? Uh, <laughs> yeah, why are they in my speech? Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I thought it would be nice to put pe other people in. I don't like to forget people. No, really. no, no. It's, it just uh, makes no sense awful, to put them in. I guess. No, but it is. But when you say it, it makes them feel worse because they're getting nothing. I do feel belittled a little bit. No, no, no. You guys aren't belittled. We'll figure this out for the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> do you plan on getting everyone a gift? Yeah, why not? It's been a good year. Don't do that. Why? It's stupid. <laughs> well, you don't have to get the twins a gift because you keep buying them things. So. Yeah, you're constantly gifting them. No, you're almost I, like a gifting station. Yeah. Uh, no, but I mean, you know, I, I just have a lot of fun here. I love these guys. It's, I don't know. You know, I just, I don't know. Uh, so what does that have to do with my jacket? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Mr. Arthur Lang, uh, for the past 15 months, it's been great to be here. If I wasn't here, I'd, I'd be uh, probably shocking shelves at Walmart or Pathmark or something. Shocking shelves? Sto okay. Stocking shelves, <laughs> I'm shocking sure. Shocking shelves. If I was lucky. You know, it, not he, Dad's not a nasty guy, but he just knows how to like make you feel horrible. Well, give me an example. Like you know, not not in a bad way. Like you know, he, well, how, can down, he, how, can he, how can he make you feel horrible in a good way? He's such a nice guy, but it's just like sometimes you know, we he needs a mute button, like I do really sometimes. I need a mute button. 
Mm-hmm. 20 minutes ago, I already asked you what's your opening joke at Uncle Vinny's, and we have to sit through this so that Dan? Paul Morrissey's going to be late. Yeah, but let me tell you something, Dan. First of all, any comic, could, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're not the MC, you're the first act, you got to read that room and see what's going on there. Except you can't read. You're illiterate. So what, what, well, what's the uh, point? Th- all right, Dan, how about you teach me to read Fun with Dick and Jane if you don't have a problem with it? <laughs> Right. <laughs> you keep blowing it. No, but I do. I'm going to need up my throttle. Give him me. the jacket. Just give it to him. No, like the young, <laughs> you young comics out there, listen to that silence. Because I, I've actually sorry. given something already for you that might be entertaining. So give him the jacket. Oh, listen to this. He's Dan's like Joe Pesci over there <laughs> now. Give him the jacket. Just give him the jacket. I'm a nice guy like Peter Cleaver, and he oh, turns into Joe Pesci with me now. Like Peter Cleaver. <laughs> See, I'm not the villain, Dan. You're the villain, but I'm nice and peaceful like a hippie over here, buddy. Let out your, your Joe pesci on here. It's cool. Like a hippie. <laughs> your Joe pesci <laughs> <laughs> John keeps blowing the silence. Yeah, but you know what, though? I like Dan a lot because he's, he is a smart man and a good friend. Why is that? He is. He is. I like, he's a lot, lot of knowledge. He does. It sounds like, the it sounds like, give him the jacket. Uh, it sounds like you uh, are jacket, please, starting please. a roast joke. Let's no. Give him the jacket, please. <laughs> give him the jacket, please. Just give him the jacket. James, James is lo- loving this. Jacket. You guys like, the, the jacket, I like how's, how's life in paradise over there, guys? It's far from paradise, let me tell you, Mike. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I I got a kick out of that. Let me get off my fat butt and, and you know what, Artie? <laughs> Artie, you're making you're, John you're, can't take it. You're making fun of Mike. I am not. You're making fun of Mike. I'm trying to help. One him. of the most important <laughs> things I've learned, especially from great comedians, is that you have to learn how to fail. And yes. Mike teaches that. Teaches us that every uh, night. Oh, well, there you go. Well, See? Of course, then. You know, you got Great you comedians fail. Nobody constantly. can paint Picasso right away. I mean, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I love this. I mean, yeah, but Audie, this, the way this generation of comics now, I'm sure there's a lot of silence in comedy clubs now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> no, because first of all, all these guys have the net, all that stuff. We came from a generation of comics where the you net? Do, the net, either you were funny or they let you have it in those days. No, they did. Crowds are brutal. <laughs> give him the jacket, please. Just give him the jacket. I can't hold the silence for more than like seven seconds. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? It's like, do you know? <laughs> are, are, do you know at radio stations, already they have a, a sensor that if there's five seconds of silence, it goes off? Uh, that's why you can't do your act. Oh. No, because... Uh, <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? It's, what did you say? Fun- it's the funniest uh, dead air of all time. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we had yeah. to follow headliners then that'll bury people now. You're right. This generation of people, are, and they got the net, all this crap, you know what? The net, you mentioned that. Sure. No, but I'm saying, put them out there, like, with crowds that were brutal 20 years ago. They'd be crying give in the jacket, like, in please. Ladies Just room. give them the jacket. Just give him the jacket. I will. I mean, let, let, let me appease Mr. Daniel Falato. Just give him the jacket. Oh, just give, wait, 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 Dan. So let, let him talk. Just, just try to stop. Be quiet a little bit. And just uh, g- give, me a, give me a speech. A real quick two lines. Two lines before uh, you do Audie Lang is an American hero. That's one line. That should live forever. Still the same line. No, it's a different twist, I think. It's really not. It's... Did it's you live the same forever? Sentence. What does that have to do with giving me an eighty-seven dollar jacket? I don't know. It just fit right now. I don't know. Uh, All right, we'll bring it over. Let's see if I it will. actually does fit. <laughs> Th- thank you, Daniel uh, Falato. You're the best, Danny, buddy. Well, <laughs> ah, what's the matter? My butt's killing me. <laughs> really? <laughs> killing us? Oh God! Oh, you got to open this though. I don't know how to open this. You don't know how to open no, it. I'll get it. Wait, you thought we'll let him open it. <laughs> Mike, didn't you have to open yours when you got it? No. <laughs> Mine was on mother. Oh, he doesn't open jackets. 
Hold on. Wow, this yeah. is gonna look cool. Yeah, yeah check this out. Look at that. What's it smell like? Because his mom had Maybe. to take the tags off. That's it why. It smells like failure. I don't know. <laughs> no, not failure. <laughs> I, hold on, guys. Look at that thing. Wait. Just a satiny, like leather-like look. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, damn this. Sorry. Oh, damn this. Be careful with that. This always happens to me all the time. <laughs> There's tags on the things you buy? Ah, you bastard. Oh. <laughs> don't ruin the jacket, Mike. Is, is, uh, I hope five cameras are on this one. <laughs> We've got quite a few. <laughs> Mike, don't rip the Wait, paper. maybe some scissors. Yeah, uh, scissors. Sure. Yeah, I don't scissors know if you guys would have... be really good. Yeah. Hmm. And this is the the Moto, what's the yeah, name of this jacket? Yeah, hold on, what the hell do they put in here? <laughs> like, did you consider oh. wrapping it? No, uh, because it, it, was, it was, oh, this pile of damnness. <laughs> Sorry. Why would you rip the, um, the paper? You gotta oh. rip the, the, the string, Mike. Oh, I don't know. Oh, thank you, thank you, buddy. Uh, oh, God, hold on. Imagine if he were on the Titanic handing out life. <laughs> I would have had then the Titanic. I'd grab the lobsters and just. He'd be the best life preserver. <laughs> <laughs> and eat my hat. Oh. What the heck happened? Oh, okay. Oh, th thank you guys. I love this genius moment here we're having. What did I do wrong, Artie? Uh, you left Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> Can you bring he, a twin? He said you were going to get in the show business. That's what you did wrong. Is it Why you have a problem? You're doing it. You're doing it good. What, what do you mean you having a problem? Are you confused? See, I knew this was going to happen. Mm. Now try it. Hold on. You know what? That's the wrong color. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my color. Oh, wow. I, I think it's it. going to fit. I'm Look telling you. That. Of course Help it'll him, fit. Mike. Help him from behind. No, no. don't do oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Dan. <laughs> no, Dan, I'm not doing wow. any moves in on, on a Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> that looks really nice. What's that on wait, the Wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? That was, wait, what did you just say? He said, help him from behind. He go, no, Dan, I'm not doing one of your moves on a typical Friday night. <laughs> he slowly, he quietly picked up the, he quietly picked up the, the stuff, the wrapping paper walked away. <laughs> You, you, I, I saw something I've never seen before. I, I saw a comic not wanting to disturb an audience at rest. <laughs> he actually said, he actually, he actually put an audience to sleep and said, I'm going to be very quiet. <laughs> Quietly slunk off. <laughs> oh, that's well, brilliant. That's, well, boy, it that does looks, fit. It looks fantastic. What's, what are those things on the zippers? Uh, on the paper. Oh, yeah. Once those are removed, it'll look fantastic. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I don't think you get those at Barney's. Yeah, you know, I, I can smell the jacket. It, it's like, uh, it yeah. is almost a leather-like smell. You know what it smells like? It smells like uh, the, if, you, if you ever took the GED, <laughs> that's what it smells like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you ever took the GED, if you sniff the paper, this is what the GED smells like, wow. exactly like this jacket. It's beautiful, though. Well, Mike, thank you so much, buddy. Of course. Thank you so again. Uh, Mike, Mike uh, Boschetti gifting me with a beautiful jacket. Gorgeous. And uh, a comedy lesson at the same time. The Audio Lounge. <laughs> Leather like, yeah. You no, but that, that's that's well, what. What is that made of? The jacket. This is plastic. <laughs> this is same. <laughs> yeah, this is polyurethane. Mike, I have to you, man. You you uh, you buried the lead a little bit. The real mark uh, marquee value of this jacket is the comfort. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. I, I was like, fat guys sweat like there's no tomorrow. So You're think, right. You know, I've reached the pinnacle of comfort. Oh, so that's a breathable plastic. <laughs> I, I yeah, want yeah, to, it is. yeah, it it's is. Comfort. Really? I, I, right now, I sit alone aloft the top of Mount Comfort. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, tell. So